welcome everyone. I am Michelle Baer, Chancellor of the University of Minnesota Morris. Regent Beeson, President Kaler, faculty and staff members, University of Minnesota Morris students and graduates, and all of the family and friends who have come to celebrate with us today in our newly renamed Cougar Sports Center. It is my great privilege to welcome you to the 2019 commencement ceremony, UMM's 56th graduation ceremony for our outstanding University of Minnesota Morris graduates. I would like to thank a number of people who have contributed to our celebration today. First, Abby Gugesberg and Gunnar Molstad for their beautiful rendition of the Star Spangled Banner. And the University of Minnesota Morris's symphonic winds under the direction of Professor Simon Tillier. as well as the UMM Concert Choir under the direction of Professor Bradley Miller. I want to acknowledge and express my appreciation for our student marshals, Megan Stabli and Trina Vu, and our student color guards, Sam Rosemark and John Barber, our Eagle Staff Carrier, Bray Benoit, our faculty marshal, Professor Leslie Meek, and our mace bearer, Professor Pirana Garavaso. Thanks also to our dining service workers for their tireless efforts to prepare and serve and to satisfy our appetites. To Dave Israel Swenson for organizing our volunteers, and to all of you who have volunteered your time on this Saturday afternoon to ensure that our commencement ceremony does justice to honoring our graduates. And I hope you will thank Kelsey Baker in person when you see her. She is our behind the scenes planner and organizer, ably assisted by a team of staff members, not only for the work preparing for this event, but for the many others that have preceded it. Please join me in recognizing and thanking all of these participants for their contributions to our ceremony today. So just one more thing. Please look around you to identify the nearest exit. If you are in the top half of the bleachers, you will likely find that exit behind you. For those of you who are on the gymnasium floor or in the lower half of the bleachers, look to your left. There are several exits clearly marked and an additional exit in front of you. Once you find yourselves in the corridor, you will see exit signs that will direct you to the outside. Graduates, congratulations to you on being here in this place at this commencement ceremony. That you are among the graduates being honored today is testament to your hard work, dedication, and persistence. These are all attributes that will serve you well once you leave, as they did while you were here at UMM. I celebrate your accomplishments, and all present join me in celebrating them. Each year, UMM faculty and graduating seniors select a student to receive the Curtis H. Larson Award. This award was established to honor UMM's first senior class speaker. It is my pleasure to present this year's recipient of the Curtis H. Larson Award and the 2019 student commencement speaker is Mira Alieva. As Mira is from Samarkand, Uzbekistan, a city located along the ancient Silk Road. 
Perhaps that's one reason why Esmira has been a campus leader in advocating for cross-cultural interaction and understanding. Through her work on campus, Esmira has promoted international social justice and worked to create opportunities for students to engage with one another across many dimensions of difference. In recognition of her work to promote unity and connection, in addition to receiving the Curtis H. Larson Award, Esmira received the University of Minnesota's 2019 Mestenhauser Student Award for Excellence in Campus Internationalization. It is my great pleasure to welcome Esmira Alieva to the podium. Thank you, Chancellor Bayer, and thank you, Regent Bizen, President Kaler, and members of the Platinum Party for your leadership and for being present today and sharing our joy of graduation. Welcome. Bojo Anin, Mitakuyasi. Bienvenidos, Yokosho, Benvenuti, Juanyon Hamnira, Swagaton, Pyonin, Inwan Dena Mitachu. On behalf of the University of Minnesota Morris, class of 2019, I want to deeply thank our faculty and staff members who have walked with us through our challenging and life-changing journey. I want to express my sincerest appreciation to our parents, sisters, brothers, and friends who have traveled from all over the world to celebrate with us. Some in person and others who are tuning from their homes around the globe. And congratulations to my favorite, the class of 2019. I'm incredibly honored. I'm incredibly honored and humbled to be your class speaker. Unity is a concept that makes my heart beat faster. Unity is what gives me hope for future peace in our world. Unity is what I have come to value and cherish as a student on this campus. Love is the language that the deaf can hear and the blind can see. No matter the distances we have over crossed to get here, or what languages we speak, every single one of us is connected at a much deeper level than we realize. Otherwise, how could a student coming from the other side of the world feel so loved, accepted, and connected? Because I do. Today, I would like to share with you all a special story. One story out of so many that the class of 2019 has to share. Stories have a special power of tearing down the illusion of our separateness. Starting in my home city of Samarkand, Uzbekistan, my years at Morris ended up being a life-transforming experience that has made me into a woman standing in front of you today. All the respect, empowerment, and most importantly, relationships that all of you have given me has allowed me to grow and discover myself on this campus. Have you ever imagined yourself on the map of the world? Just four years ago, I had never left Uzbekistan. We knew the challenge that was awaiting, but now what the challenge was. I thought I had applied to the University of Minnesota, but apparently there's five campuses. <laughs> I had no idea. Fortunately enough, I landed here in Morris. I arrived to campus with no orientation and had to be in class just one hour later after my arrival. 
I want to take a moment to thank my parents who are here today. How about we all make some noise and appreciate our parents who have been supporting us throughout our journey. Noise, noise, more. Thank you, our parents. Six thousand four hundred fifty miles later, with two suitcases and a backpack, and I felt completely alone, as many of you when watched your parents drive away. The small campus seemed huge to me. I had trouble finding my classrooms, which forced me to live like 30 minutes early for the class. This was not the uh, practice I continued. <laughs> to be honest, I was not sure what was happening around me. Like all of you, I was so concerned about my classes and the language barrier added to my struggle. But I did want to make the most of, out of my experience and try everything I could. I, I quickly found ways to share my culture and was very proud the day the Uzbek flag was hung in the dining hall alongside so many others. The dining hall was one of my favorite places. Sharing lunches and dinners with my friends always just warmed my heart. It actually happened very recently. I was walking across this building, RFC, and I saw athletes recruiting prospective students, and what they said was, oh my god, the pizza lady is the best. <laughs> and that just made my heart. That's how special we are. I remember the second week of classes. I was coming back from the gym with my friend, Kaho. If you have ever been far away from home, you will always remember your first hug from a new friend. So thank you, Hago, Kaho, from that hug, for that hug. The little moments, like hugs and meals, is what made me feel at home. Encountering differences quickly became a part of my reality. My personal approach was creating relationships. For me, sharing stories, um, for me, sharing stories was something really important. I can't find a page. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I'm sorry. It was the foundation on which these relationships were built. I really valued the relationships I made here. I believe that a shared story is powerful only if accepted the way it is told, with no assumptions. Understanding someone's story takes love, respect, and acceptance. I was able to understand who I am by attempting to understand people around me. Staying from societal, straying from societal norms is oftentimes one of the most challenging things to do. But encountering the faces and hearts of others reshapes our assumptions through relationships. Shared feelings change minds. Morris is a place that has gifted me and us all the opportunity to reach across our differences and discover our passions. We are first generation students, students with disabilities, immigrants, student athletes, leaders, international students, transfer students, and so many more. As graduates from one of the most environmentally friendly colleges in the world, we have learned that small habits make a big difference. Here, we have learned to sustain ourselves through one another. 
These are the skills that will change our world and spare our planet. We are Morris. We do things differently. Graduates, you describe this place as home away from home and highlight how supportive and trusting everyone is. Morris may be tiny, but here we have found everything we need. Professors have introduced us to their families and know us each individually. We are not just a number in their eyes, but individual people with a unique stories to share. We have shared these stories over holiday dinners like Thanksgiving and Christmas. Morris would not be Morris without each one of you. Thank you to facilities management who have quietly made our lives easier by plowing the snow on cold winter mornings and ensuring our campus is ready for every day, and especially during this past winter. And I know you will all join me in saying the same about others, whether in one stop, student activities, Office of Academic Success, campus police, who are friendly and so approachable. You all pride yourselves on ensuring a positive and enriching environment for all of us. In my time on this campus, I have focused on unity and I've learned from all of you. The secret behind unity is our extraordinary ability to learn and understand without having experienced. We can think ourselves into other people's lives because of the relationships we have built with one another. The little things are what have afforded me success on this campus. I challenge you all to open your eyes and hearts to the little things that improve the world around us. These could be as simple as saying good morning to a stranger or stopping to ask about someone's day. Relationships are the cornerstone of successful and happy life. Something I want for all of you and all of us. We all have it in our capacity to reach each heart, each mind, and each life by simply being present. Your presence is what makes our world a better place. You are enough, and together, we are more than enough. I'm proud to stand beside you as a fellow graduate of the University of Minnesota Morris, class of 2019. Thank you.
During their junior year, University of Minnesota Morris students are invited to submit a list of possible commencement speakers to our Functions and Awards Committee. That committee then further vets the list and submits a short list of possibilities to the Chancellor. In 2011, Eric Kaler returned to the Gopher State to serve as the 16th President of the University of Minnesota. During his presidency, Kaler is focused on core priorities including academic excellence, affordability, diversity, and a welcoming and respectful campus climate. Kaler co-founded Generation Next, a coalition of Twin Cities area civic, business, and education leaders united to help close the achievement and opportunity gaps in Minnesota, specifically in the Minneapolis and St. Paul area schools. In partnership with Minnesota's legislature, Kaler increased research investments, renovated buildings system-wide, and kept tuition stable for undergraduates. Before returning to the university, Kaler served from 27 to 2011 as provost and senior vice president of academic affairs at Stony Brook University. Kaler received his doctorate in chemical engineering from the University of Minnesota in 1982. It's my honor to introduce President Eric W. Kaler. Thank you, Chancellor Baer, and good afternoon, and what a lovely day to be in Morris. <laughs> Maybe not the weather outside, but surely for the warmth and happiness inside this room. Welcome all, and a special thanks to Regent Rich Richard Beeson for joining us here today. He's actually essential because your degrees are given by the regents, and if you don't have a regent, you can't get your degree. So you should be really nice to Regent Beeson later in the afternoon. Chancellor Baer, thank you for making the University of Minnesota Morris a true jewel of the university system. And to your leadership team, our terrific staff, and precious and valuable faculty, thank you. I really am happy to be here in Morris, the most environmentally sustainable campus among, indeed, yes, five campuses in the University of Minnesota system, and is perhaps among the most environmentally sustainable in the nation. Now, while others stand here and look out upon this wonderful vision and see over 300 fresh-faced graduates, I see what most Morris students and faculty dream of in their sustainable dream every day, and that is approximately 30 tons of sustainable biomass. Congratulations. Some of you might remember that I chose Morris in 2012 as the location of my first commencement speech to a university system-wide campus. And I did that because Morris represents so very much of what is great about the university. And I've chosen this year as the location at Morris as the location of my last commencement as university president for the same reasons. You represent so much of what is great and good about all that we do. Let me tell you why. First, all five University of Minnesota campuses are diverse, but yours is the most diverse. And that's a remarkable achievement for an institution of fewer than 2,000 students in a rural county in greater Minnesota. Secondly, your relationship to the Morris community is critical to your success and the region's success, and it is a model for all so-called town-gown relations across our system. Thirdly, Students here excel at incredible levels, winning awards, moving on to graduate professional schools at a rate that frankly overachieves for a campus your size. The university is particularly committed to undergraduate research and you are terrific at that too. Morris is truly its own educational and cultural ecosystem. It is alive, it is thriving, and it is evolving in a very exciting way. It's a place that I'm told where sometimes classes get in the way of your education, and that's okay. It also is, in a very true sense, a location that has a deep feeling of place. Dating back to 1887, 
when it was first a boarding school for Native Americans and then during its years as the West Central School of Agriculture. That UMM continues to honor its past as a tribute to its American Indian heritage and this campus's commitment to the land. That more than 20% of Morris's students today are American Indian is a true preservation of your founding values. We at the University of Minnesota are very proud of that. Now, please allow me to congratulate you on this great achievement, college graduation. And I am not congratulating right now the 320 of you in the funny hats and the oversized robes. I congratulate the hundreds of others who are sitting out there with phones in one hand and Kleenex in the other, with memories of diaper changes and dinner table arguments dancing through their heads. I know that one third of our graduates today are the first in their family to gain a college degree, and I was the first in mine. So students, graduates, I think all of your families, mentors, advisors, siblings, aunts, uncles, and significant others deserve a sustained, rousing, and standing round of applause for your people. Thank you for those on the floor and in the bleachers. I wanted today to tell a couple of stories about some outstanding Morris graduates. I wanted to highlight the achievements of a few of your classmates. I wanted to promote the national awards that Morris students regularly win and detail your national rankings and the students that go on to medical school or earn a PhD. But no, I was told, no, no. That's just not Morris. We don't brag. That's a very Minnesotan way to be. I'm even told the chancellor doesn't have a reserved parking space on campus. I mean, seriously. <laughs> but nothing at all is wrong with this place. At Morris, you do stuff, and you're too involved to brag about it. And I appreciate that. So I thought I would turn from praising people to highlighting your experiences here. What you will remember about Morris will be your friends, your romances, and breakups, and your late night conversations. And so in my spare time, I learned some things. And I have a list of the top 10 memories of the class of 2019. And when I'm done afterwards, you can tell me if I'm close to your list. And I do have to say that I hope your family and supporters know about at least some of these already. One, watching extravaganza with your freshman floor. Two, biting into your first piece of Don's toast. That's popular. Winning the homecoming tug of war. Presenting at the URS. Cramming for finals after late night bite. Okay, attending the drag show with your best friends. That's popular. Walking to the wind turbines in the middle of the night. I don't even know why you do that, but apparently <laughs> you do. Dancing your heart out at zombie prom. Sending Cougar volleyball to the NCAA tournament for the first time in history. And last but not least, getting ready for graduation day. Okay, I'd give myself eight out of 10, that's all right. So please allow me to turn to just, for just a minute, to a certain frustration I'm feeling these days about a critical issue facing this university and you, now that you're graduates and will soon have a degree. There is a lot of debate about higher education with headlines blaring. Is college worth it? What value does it have? There are all sorts of experts out there saying, don't go to college, you don't really need it. I think that is probably some of the most dangerous demagoguery being spewed today. I know tuition is high, but we've held tuition nearly constant on this campus for nearly all the years I've been president. I know many of you have debt, 
but we are continually seeking to increase financial aid. And I also know this. I know of no problem that is made better by having less educated people try to fix it. People tell me, well, Steve Jobs and Bill Gates didn't graduate from college. That's true. But I'm really sure a whole lot of people working for Microsoft and Apple did graduate from college. And I know that a whole lot of Morris grads go on to graduate school, professional school, and employment in some of the regions and the state's most important profit and nonprofit organizations. And remember over time, your degree will be worth hundreds of thousands of dollars more than you paid for it. There's great value to your degree, and please don't let anyone anywhere tell you that's not true. It's a great value personally, it's a great value to your family, to your community, to the state, and to the world. But a degree is not just about getting a job. A degree indicates not only what you have learned, but it reveals you know how to learn. And that is a trademark of Morris graduates and the hallmark of a great liberal arts education. Now that you've graduated, the lifelong learning really just begins. So for the graduates, this is not the finish line. This is the starting line for the next phase of your life. We spend a lot of time thinking about what comes next. We have a tendency to view time and progress as a linear thing. We go from point A to point B to point C. We move from childhood into adulthood. You all move from first year students to graduates of the University of Minnesota, Morris, and that's great. But even the word commencement, the beginning, the start of something new, seems to proclaim that life is this straight line. But this view, I think, paints life in an incomplete way. For at the same time you move forward, there is indeed repetition. You're not only moving forward, but you're spiraling upward with time. The seasons pass, they return again. The same in some ways, yet often strikingly different. And usually better. Your first essays at Morris probably range from okay to, well, pretty bad. But you wrote again and again and again. You returned to your craft and made it better each time around. You re returned to class day after day, semester after semester, sometimes, as Mara, earlier than you might need to be there, but that's okay. You improved your understanding and you learned. You may have entered college thinking that you knew everything. Some of the parents in the room will support me on that point of view. You then recognized that there was more to learn and then, once again, you knew everything. From certainty to doubt to certainty, it all comes back around. My point is that your life is likely to bring challenge and success, followed by challenge and success, followed by more challenge and success. And the greater your successes, the more challenging will be your next challenge. I don't often quote others, but there's one here that fits right in. It's attributed to Mark Twain. And he said, history does not repeat itself, but it often rhymes. I think you will find that true in life, and you are richer when you listen for those similar sounds. Life often rhymes. So I'll finish by saying that people think Morris is a small place. They are wrong. Morris is a gigantic vehicle for success. I look at you, I hear your classmates' words, and I see remarkable leaders. I look at you and I gaze at the best that the University of Minnesota has to offer this state, this nation, and this world. I look at you and I see hope, I see energy, and I see only good things. Along with your diploma, carry that hope boldly into the world. Carry forth the pride and promise of the University of Minnesota Morris. Take care of each other, work hard, have fun, and like all Morris grads, make a big difference. We're all so proud of you. Congratulations and Godspeed. Thank you, President Kaler, for those remarks. I now invite Vice Chancellor Sandy Olson Lloyd to the podium to introduce the drum group that will perform the honor song.
The Morris Campus was founded on original homelands of the Dakota and Anishinaabe people late in the 19th century by the Sisters of Mercy, an order of Roman Catholic nuns, as a boarding school for American Indian boys and girls. Across the United States, more than 350 American Indian boarding schools were operated under contract with or directly managed by the federal government during this time. While perhaps well-intentioned, the schools separated young Native American children from their families, communities, languages, and cultures with continued impacts in Indian country today. Today, 130 years later, we recognize that history and we pay tributes to the ways that it weaves into our obligations and our opportunity as the University of Minnesota's public liberal arts college. We are honored to be recognized as one of the nation's American Indian serving non-tribal institutions, one of just 24 institutions nationally and the only four-year university in the upper Midwest so designated. We are proud to be creating a campus where Native American students can increasingly reconnect with and deepen their knowledge of Native American tribes, cultures, languages, and life ways, where Native cultures are more present and reflected in our campus life, and where all of us benefit from greater knowledge and understanding regarding our shared histories and the people indigenous to this place. Today, we recognize all of our graduates, celebrate their accomplishment, and look to their futures with the performance of a Native American honor song for the University of Minnesota Morris Class of 2019. We are honored to have with us the Northern Wind Singers, a highly respected First Nations drum group from the Ojibwe Nation and Lake of the Woods, Ontario. One of the most powerful drum groups on the Powwow Trail today, they have been recognized with North American and Canadian Indigenous Music Awards for Best Powwow Album and Best Traditional Album. Gabriel DeRogier, a graduate of the University of Minnesota Morris and a member of our faculty, is the Northern Wind Singers lead singer, composer, and keeper of the drum. Gabe holds his Master's of Education with an emphasis in Indigenous Language Revitalization from the University of Minnesota Duluth, where he is currently pursuing his doctorate in education. His work and the music of the Northern Wind Singers is featured in a number of Indigenous studies and ethnomusicology texts, including recording culture, powwow music, and the Aboriginal recording industry of the Northern Plains, published by Duke University Press. An Anishinaabe Moan first speaker and leader in Minnesota's Indigenous Language Revitalization Movement, we are proud to have Gabe, Gabe teaching the Anishinaabe language and American Indian song and dance at Morris. As you are able, we ask that you please rise and remove your hats and caps for the Northern Wind Singers and an honor song for the class of 2019.
thanks to the Northern Wind Singers, led by UMM's own faculty member and alumnus, Gabe DeRozier, for honoring our graduates in this really special way. We now come to the part of the ceremony that you've all been waiting for, conferring degrees upon members of the graduating class of 2019. I invite our academic dean, Janet Schrunk Erickson, along with math and science division chair, Pei Ng, to the podium to read the graduates' names. I invite our student marshals to come forward to the bottom of the ramp to add their congratulations to the new graduates. Regent Beeson and President Kaler, will you please take your places with me here on stage. We are especially fortunate to welcome Regent Richard Beeson as our commencement regent today. Richard Beeson ser serves as Executive Vice President for Corporate Development and Government Relations at Sunrise Banks, following 20 years as president of Sunrise-owned Park Midway Bank of St. Paul. Previously, he was employed with the City of St. Paul's Department of Planning and Economic Development as Senior Project Manager. Regent Beeson received a Bachelor of Arts in Political Science from the College of Liberal Arts, University of Minnesota, Twin Cities, and an MBA from the University of St. Thomas. He serves on the board of the F.R. Bigelow Foundation and co-chair of Mayor Carter's College Savings Account Task Force. Regent Beeson has chaired the St. Paul Area Chamber of Commerce, the Midway Chamber of Commerce, and the Central Corridor Partnership, and has served as treasurer of the St. Paul River Center, the St. Paul Conservatory for Performing Arts, and Women Venture. He previously served as chair of the Board of Regents. It is indeed a pleasure to welcome you, Regent Beeson, to our campus today and to the podium now. So you're going to do this, and then... Well, good afternoon. Thank you, Chancellor Baer. I'm very, very pleased to be here today on behalf of the Board of Regents. There are 12 of us, uh, including four new regents elected by the Minnesota Legislature last week. Today, we honor the efforts and accomplishments of the graduates here before us. Through your hard work, talent, accomplishment, and determination, you have earned this day of recognition, reflection, and celebration. Long anticipated, you may be filled with eagerness, anxiety, or in any complicated mix of those emotions, I'm sure, as you begin the next phase of your lives. But whatever you're feeling today, you deserve to hold a keen sense of pride. You've made it. In a very short time, you will be University of Minnesota Morris Cougar alumni. Congratulations. So will the graduates please rise? Esmira Aldarvna Alieva. Abby Ray Gugesberg, music. Gunnar O. Molstead, music secondary education. Bray Benoist, studio art psychology. Stephen Marvel Severson, psychology. Carl Cortez Jr. Douglas, Management, Financial and Organizational Management, Sport Management. Jeremy Jeffrey Roger Halverson, Management, Financial and Organizational Management. Zach Stephen Kiefler, Sport Management. Noah Grove, Management, Financial and Organizational Management. Jeremy T. Halverson, Management, Financial and Organizational Management. Nathan P. Galen, Sport Management. Austin B James Baca, Sport Manager. Samantha Joe Brinkman, History, Social Science. 
Megan Knickerbocker, Human Services, Criminal Justice. Paige Marie Dahlberg, Biology. Lacey Marie Sullivan, Elementary Education, with Distinction. Kara Ann Nori, Management, Financial and Organizational Management. Ellie Stevenson, Area of Concentration, Sport and Exercise Phys Psychology. Kendra Raths, Chemistry, Biochemistry. Caitlin Pearson, Chemistry, Biochemistry. Danielle May Post, Financial and Organizational Management. Megan Page Foley, Sport Management. Destiny Lee Peterson, Elementary Education. Suzanne Ethel Perdoma, Elementary Education. Catherine Joy Anderson, Elementary Education. Hannah Doty, Elementary Education with Distinction. Kayla Coulter, Elementary Education with Distinction. Megan Hansen, Elementary Education. Kelsey Menzi, Elementary Education. Ellie Rihaloma, Elementary Education with High Distinction. Cecilia Espinoza Olvera, Management Global Business. Alexis Peterson, Psychology. Victoria Jean Marie Isaias, Psychology, Human Services. Dawson Thomas Quick, Political Science. Caitlin Grace Robin, Human Services, Human Development. Gannon Joachim, English Creative Writing with High Distinction with Honors. Alex John Keller, Chemistry. Andrew Bodie, Biology, Psychology. Sarah Sherbring, Chemistry, Biochemistry. Ryan H. Peterson, Biology. Linnea Marie Kingbird Martini, Psychology. Marie Catherine Jakubowski, Human Services, Human Development, Psychology. Emily Rose Shazinski, Biology. Jordan Nicole Judd, Human Services, Human Development, Psychology. Elizabeth Marie Kaiser, Elementary Education. Annika Catherine Johnson, Political Science with Distinction. Emma Wald, Environmental Studies. Hannah Fuchs, Biology. Katie Marie Gillette, Human Services. Katie Briol, Psychology. Claire Elizabeth Beckerman, Communications, Media and Rhetoric. Rebecca N. Lund, Anthropology, Sociology. Ivy Labrec, Chemistry, Biochemistry. Tiana L. Wood, Chemistry, Biochemistry with Distinction. Ricky Corden Butel, Beetle, Area of Concentration, Exercise Science. Matthew A. Kingland, Biology. Carl Timothy Ock, Mathematics Secondary Education. Eric D. Zinke, Psychology. Tony Josephine White, Human Services, Human Development, Psychology, Philosophy. Hannah Faye Geary, Psychology. Heather Anderson, Biology. Tyler Dembowski, Biology. Joe Allen Knight, Environmental Studies. Kate Horning, History. Matt Deborah, Statistics, Mathematics with Distinction. Kaylee A. Schupen, Anthropology with Distinction. Nick Plucker, Computer Science. 
Melanie Popelka Elementary Education. Rachel L. Bedell Elementary Education. Hannah Williston Elementary Education. Jordan Joseph Lisa Ele uh, Elementary Education. Maya Cotton Statistics with Distinction. Callie Brobery Elementary Education. Luke James Eitel, Political Science with Honors. Connor M. Kerwin, Biology. Hannah May Brent, Elementary Education. Katie Marie Crawford, Management, Financial and Organizational Management, Economics with Distinction. Courtney Lynn Kaiwinski, Elementary Education with High Distinction. Haley George Straw, Elementary Education. Kelsey N. Nelson, Human Services, Criminal, Criminal Justice. Justin W. Hawley, Sport Management. Wyatt Worth, Statistics. JT Corris, Sport Management. Trent Maloney, Sport Management. Michelle John O'Rourke, Biology. Emily Christine Nordquist, Chemistry, Biochemistry. Samuel Christopher Palmatier, Chemistry, Bio Biochemistry. Madison Ann Langer, Psychology. Taylor J. Jackson, Human Services. Jocelyn D. Giefer, Management, Financial and Organizational Management. Thomas Walker Ixtin, Sport Management. Tian Zhang uh, Hong Zhang, History. Cassidy Lynn Olson, Biology. Michaela Rose Bridgman, Biology. Cody O'Halloran, Biology. Woo! Reed Peterson, Environmental Science. <laughs> Lucas Kosobuski, Biology. <laughs> Duncan Vermillion, Chemistry, Biochemistry. <laughs> Adam A. Shug, Chemistry, Biochemistry. <laughs> Jer Nicholas Thomas Peltier, Political Science. <laughs> Sarah Frances Lavoy Brunette, Art History, Medieval Studies, Area of Concentration, Classical Civilization. Ramona Brash Bias, Political Science with Distinction. Rachel Lane Evangelisto, Political Science. Joubert Hassan, Computer Science. Andrew Bikacek, Economics, Management, Financial and Organizational Management. Mackenzie June Dice, Environmental, Study, Environmental Science, German Studies with Honors. Woo! Anna Marie von Buskem, Psychology. Rayanne Elizabeth Wilmot, Sociology. Rada Hollingsworth Carlson, French. Lydia Winkler, Biology, Environmental Science with High Distinction. Kylie Ann Wilson, Anthropology. Erica Ann Hansen, Biology, Environmental Science. Danielle M. Nash, Biology with Distinction with Honors. Jacqueline Ann Bell, Management, Financial and Organizational Management. Rachel Larson, English, Creative Writing. Jenny Strauss, Biology. Zoe Burton Swigard, Theater Arts. <laughs> Emily Filson, Human Services, Human Development. Joseph Boster, Management, Financial and Organizational Management. Matthew J. Marshall, Statistics. Lucas Allen Bonkrud, Management, Financial and Organizational Management. Bennett Peter Perfurst, Statistics, Economics. 
Jordan Campbell, Statistics. Grace Paulus, Biology. Stephanie Rouser, Biology. Maria Rouser, Biology. James Adapolon, Biology. Sam Roosh, English, Creative Writing, Medieval Studies. Julia Defont, Psychology with High Distinction. Camille Mia King, Biology, Psychology. Baisawa Ilma Mechal, Biology. Hewan Gabre Michael, Political Science, Economics. Angelica Wilhelmi, Management, Financial and Organization Man uh, Organizational Management. Elise Clarenbeek, History with High Distinction. Joseph Broding, History. Colin Robb, Computer Science with High Distinction. Caitlin Patricia Lancaster, Biology, Studio Art. Justice May Robinson, Communication, Media, and Rhetoric. Chloe Rose Buell, Mathematics, History. Lee Ray Roller, Area of Concentration, Chemical Biology. Carly Bauer, Psychology. Rachel Ann Hansen, Environmental Studies. Tasha Alcarez Schneider, Environmental Studies, Anthropology, Native American and Indigenous Studies. Forrest Zoll, Studio Art. Anna Callinger, Studio Art. Catherine Maxine Brown, Studio Art, Art History, Secondary Education. Jordan Dale, Geology, Environmental Science. Haley Lamont, Communication, Media, and Rhetoric, Studio Art. Hannah Marie Butcher, English, Creative Writing with Honors. McKenna Green, English. Wesley McDonald, English, Communication, Media, and Rhetoric. Sage Cavender Wilson, Philosophy. Annika Regina Nelson, Political Science. Matthew Muller, English, Sociology. Chantal Tucson, History. Hannah M. Retzer, Biology. Ben Alex Jenum, Elementary Education. Philip J. Iverson, History Secondary Education. Duncan Watson, History. Nick Bushway, Computer Science. Bona Forge Usha, Psychology. Dennis Ostrusko, Mathematics Statistics. Sai Teng Yang, Computer Science Philosophy with High Distinction. Kandakar Anaf Priyor, Computer Science. Travis J. Walling, Computer Science. Matthew R. Munns, Computer Science. Jacob Lyle Greenstead, Computer Science. R.J. Holman, Computer Science. Ben Holman, Social Science. Samuel Ray Schlengen, Environmental Science. Charles McLean Manny, Computer Science. Nash Patrick Kramer, Biology. Blyce Benjamin Fairbanks, Management, Financial and Organizational Management. Sung J. Park, Computer Science. Sean Sungkyun Jion, Sport Management. Sam Kyung Suk Lee, Chemistry. Lily Fulton, Environmental Science. Amelia E. 
Skogan, Environmental Studies, Environmental Science with Distinction with Honors. Nozomi Motohashi, Environmental Studies. Abby M. Dickwood, Human Services, Human Development, Environmental Studies. Sydney Renee Bauer, Biology. Eric R. Mack, Environmental Studies. Tina Colt, Biology. Emily Regan Twetis, Biology. Wendy E. Unger, Theater Arts. Maya Kittleson Wilker, Elementary Education with Distinction. Bridget A. Peterson, Spanish Latin American Area Studies. Margaret A. Kaplan, Sociology. Paige Catherine Quinlevin, Theater Arts. Laura Stably, Theater Arts English with High Distinction with Honors. Caroline Lillian Vendercheck, English Studio Art with High Distinction. Claire McManus, Political Science Theater Arts with High Distinction. Bailey Rose Soiku, Theater Arts. Kaylee Hickman, Political Science History with Honors. Courtney Cook, Computer Science Mathematics. Nathan Benneke, Computer Science Mathematics. Aaron Willoughby, Environmental Science. Nick Winnegar, Biology. Corinne McCumber, English Medieval Studies with High Distinction with Honors. Karen O. Kennison, History. Bailey Kemp, Biology, English with High Distinction with Honors. Zachary Clausen, Philosophy. Joseph Lauer, English Creative Writing. Harrison Pajowski, Mathematics. Itzang Yuan, Communication, Media and Rhetoric, Area of Concentration, Film Studies. Wahid Tausif Ratul, Economics, Statistics. Dennis Kim, Statistics, Area of Concentration, Applied Ecology. Leonid Scott, Computer Science. Spencer A. Hammerson, Computer Science. Marshall P. Hoffman, Computer Science. Tului, Psychology. Erica Don Guthrie, Psychology. Alyssa Olson, Theater Arts. Peshuda Hakawi, Hakawi, Red Eagle, Art History. Ren Perseus Carmichael, Psychology. Carter Young, Biology. Micaela Cadiz, Biology with Distinction. Lily Hyde, Biology. Tad Sharp, Biology. Braden McDougall, Anthropology, Theater. John Schoenbaum, Computer Science. Ellie Ronham, Psychology, Human Services. Elizabeth Rose Counter, Psychology. Jennings Sun, Management, Financial and Organizational Management, Economics with High Distinction. Ki Ding, Management, Financial and Organizational Management, Economics. Yujing Song, Computer Science, Statistics. Jisoo, Psychology. Mimi Yamamoto, Psychology. Sonia Crawford, Studio Art. 
Hannah Spry, Studio Art, Art History. Allison J. Hennen, Studio Art. Francis Burr, Studio Art with High Distinction, with Honors. Isaac Yoakum, Computer Science. David Chong, Computer Science. Dexter Zihan An, Computer Science. Hunter Bovert, uh, History. Liam Cameron Taylor, Physics. Ney Dawil Almonte, Political Science. Philip Blaskowski, Computer Science. Sean Saliev, Computer Science. Nguyen Dong Min Nguyen, Statistics. Andrew Joseph Potach, History. Adele Subola, French Secondary Education. Caitlin Lee Gross, French Social Science Secondary Education with High Distinction. Eric C. Jones, Biology Environmental Science. Diwan Shafiul Umam, English Political Science. Tyler Adam Sassenberg, Psychology with High Distinction. Catherine M. Novak, Biology. Kaho Iwata, Statistics Area of Concentration, Actuarial Science. Emily L. Pekovnik, Environmental Science. Hallie Ann Lawson, Psychology. Matthew T. Koopman, History, Philosophy. <laughs> Sophia Rosemary Brent, Spanish, Human Services, Social Justice with High Distinction. <laughs> Gaucher Wang, Chemistry, Biochemistry. <laughs> Chong Hee Ji, Management, Financial and Organizational Management. Danny Wang, Management Global Business. Jacob Sandbach, Management Financial and Organizational Management and Economics. Mitchell Curtis Fox, Environmental Studies. Amber M. Paskey, Environmental Studies. Luke Musselman, Management Financial and Organizational Management. Hua Yi Gao, Management Global Business. Tao Gu, Management Global Business. Shu Song Wang, Management Global Business. Alex Reyes, Spanish. Rachelle M. Crawford, Native American and Indigenous Studies. Trey Maurice Goodsell, Environmental Studies. Aaron Kep, Mathematics. Ben Ray uh, Mladenich, English Creative Writing Spanish. Christian W. Pfeiffer, Music. Sandra Lee Fernow. German Studies with Distinction. Emily Siobhan Kuhn, Psychology Spanish. Maya Sarah Whitefeather, English Creative Writing. Cecilia Rose Conrad, Management, Financial and Organizational Management. Ara Choi, English. Felix Chatborn, Studio Art. Michael Cagle, Economics, Mathematics, Statistics with High Distinction. Ari Ann Langer, Psychology with Distinction with Honors. 
Robert D. McBain History. That's it? Okay. Can you please give all our graduates another warm round of applause? Shall we make this official? We will make this official. Please stay standing, candidates. Back up. All right. Upon the recommendation of the faculty, uh, by authority of the Board of Regents of the University of Minnesota, and with completion of all remaining degree requirements, I now confer upon you the degrees for which you've qualified. Congratulations, graduates, University of Minnesota Morris 2019. And please move your tassels to the left, right to the left. Thank you.
Thank you, concert choir. That was lovely. It's now my pleasure to introduce Dylan McBrady. Dylan is a graduate of the University of Minnesota Morris's class of 2013, and he serves as the president of the UMM Alumni Association Board. He will welcome our graduates, you, into the Alumni Association. Thanks, Michelle. Um, first of all, I want to thank you, all of you, um, for being able to speak to you today on this most auspicious of days, your graduation. Um, it wasn't that long ago that I sat in those same seats. It was the same exact rainy uh, day. I was going to use other uh, vernacular, but I'll stick with rainy. It was a rainy day, and uh, we had to sit in here, and it was hot, um, and uh, it was a great day. It's always a great day to graduate. Um, so that was just six short years ago for me. Um, and those years were short and long and all over the place. Um, at the extraordinarily wise old age of 28, <laughs> I can't give you very much big life advice, uh, even though I've done a wide variety of things in the last six years. Um, six years ago, I never would have thought I'd be standing up here giving the speech for one. Uh, two, I also wouldn't have thought I would show up in an army uniform this morning having to sneak away from training this weekend to come give it. Um, I guess what I'm trying to tell you is that life will throw you many curveballs and it will be full of surprises, uh, ups and downs, lefts and rights, uh, tragedies, injuries, hope, love, wins and losses. Uh, but through it all, it'll give you opportunities to be your best self and every day will be a chance to live up to that standard. Some days you will meet it and be your best, and some days you won't. Uh, some of you will face a multifaceted problem in front of you for the next couple years. This is, I feel like the other speeches were so hopeful and I'm just bringing you right down. <laughs> oh man. Um, so <laughs> it's not something tangible, it's entirely a problem that will occur uh, between the six inches between your ears. Um, there's this thing called the quarter life crisis, okay? And uh, it's actually much more pronounced in younger generations than it was in your parents, for example. Uh, you'll leave university and all of a sudden you'll have to figure out what exactly it is you want to do with your life. Um, don't worry, totally normal. Uh, simultaneously, you're also leaving this great safe space in Morris to go out into the wider, tougher world. It's a hard obstacle to overcome, no doubt about it. In the immortal words of J.R.R. R. Tolkien, it's a dangerous business, Frodo, going out your door. You step onto the road, and if you don't keep your feet, there's no, no, there's no knowing where you might be swept off to. That's the hard part, is keeping your feet. It's something that requires much self-reflection and learning and discipline. Uh, it takes grit and courage to know who you are, where you came from, and where you're going. I grew up out in the country by a small rural town I went to college here, which is pretty far from any sort of metropolis. I was a first generation college student and it was hard to navigate college with no real background coming in. Uh, I then went to law school down in St. Paul. Uh, and do you know what I consider one of the best and hardest experiences I learned in my three years of law school? Was learning to drive and park in the cities. I had no idea, no idea. Super useful to have though. <laughs> Uh, when I was in law school, I found quickly after the first semester, even though I did well academically, I, that it just wasn't for me. The culture was antagonistic at its core, and I just knew in my heart that I wasn't meant to be a lawyer. Uh, right then I had a choice, as has had happened several times since. I had a chance to keep my feet underneath me, walk my path uh, that I knew was right, and I didn't. Uh, my feet got swept out from under me, I finished law school and everything else that came along with it. Uh, but not long after, I ended up walking away from the legal field, starting my own company, and I'm focused mostly now on my military career and my business. Uh, but for those years that I knew weren't right, they were difficult and full of strife. Uh, and just to be blunt, they kind of sucked, right? Don't get me wrong, there's a lot of good, too. Uh, and I had plenty of Morris family and friends that I met here in college that helped me along the way. Uh, many ups and many downs. I can't ask much of you, but I will ask this. 
Uh, on those days when you're down, don't give it in despair. Hunt for the good in this world, and you'll find it. Because even on your worst day post-graduation from UMM, the sun will rise the next day. And if you're truly afloat and need some direction, there's a great wide pool of alumni who are more than willing to help you find a path. I encourage you, reach out to alumni um, that have walked your same path and kept their feet. If you're going to grad school or onto a career or to start a family, there's someone who has graduated here that has done the same and can help pave the road for you or bare minimum give you some road signs that you can follow. Go to alumni events, stay connected, network, and have fun. Uh, when I graduated, I thought I would never really come back to UMM. Uh, I was ready to wash my hands of it and move on to the next thing. Uh, the fact that I stay involved and connected has made all the difference in the world. So I'll leave you with this. Be strong, be courageous, be kind to others, and most importantly, to yourselves. Welcome to the Alumni Association, and congratulations, class of 2019. Thank you. Thank you, Dylan, and congratulations to all the graduates and to your families. Commencement marks a time of transition. All of you graduates will go on to new and exciting adventures in your lives. The University of Minnesota Morris has prepared you well to be thoughtful, adaptive, and engaged citizens of your communities and of the world. We know that you are destined for great things and hope only that you will keep us informed of the fantastic accomplishments that lie ahead for each and every one of you. We invite everyone to join us for cake and coffee in Oyate Hall in the Student Center, and we ask that the audience please remain seated until all of the students, faculty, and platform party members have departed. Thank you.